Mental illness is a disease. At times, the disease may cause a person to behave in a way that can pose an immediate threat to himself, others, or property. In these situations, help is available. Law enforcement and mental health screening agencies work in partnership to maintain safety, prevent injury, and link the individual in crisis to necessary treatment. In this video, you will see what can happen when a person experiences a mental health crisis and how family members, police, and mental health screeners respond to the crisis. 911, where is your emergency? My son, Bill, is outside the house. He's yelling at a pedestrian and running toward him. He has a history of schizophrenia, and he's not on his medication right now. I need someone sent immediately. All right, ma'am, is he near you? Is he in the house, or is he... Uh... No, he's outside. All right, does he have any weapons? Can he hurt himself or you? No, no, he's not carrying a weapon, and he's not normally violent. Two minutes later, two police officers arrive at the scene. The first police officer, known as a contact officer, will be engaging the person in crisis. The second officer, known as the backup officer, will be responsible for overseeing the entire situation and retrieving any pertinent information from witnesses or family members. Hey! Hey! Stop watching me! Yeah, you! Stop watching me! I see you watching me with your, with your look and you're watching and you're reporting on me and I just, I can't have that. I just want to be left alone, so leave me alone. Get out of here. Go! Get out of here! Stop watching me! I said stop watching me! Stop watching me, please! I just want to be left alone. Just leave me alone. Get out of here! I'm Sergeant Garrity. Who, who called you? What are you doing here? I'm not doing anything. Can we talk? Someone called and said you appeared to be upset. You'd be upset too if you were monitored like me. I just want to be left alone. What's your name? What can I call you? I'm Bill. Bill, are you feeling okay today? I'm fine. Everyone just needs to leave me alone. I don't need people walking by and reporting on me. Bill, we're here to help you. Why don't you have a seat on the stairs over there and talk to me? Let me see what I can do. Just leave me alone. Someone called and said that you appeared to be upset and that you were yelling at people. Is there anyone that might want to hurt you or is angry with you? Just go away. I don't need more people watching me. Why is it always me? Bill, I want to help you. No one's going to hurt you with us here. My partner, Officer Baker, is right over there and will watch out for us, okay? Why don't you tell me what's going on? My family is watching me. They're worried that I'm going to do something. Okay, like what? I don't know. I never do. I asked them to stop, but they won't. Bill, I'd like to talk to you a bit more, but this is not the most private of areas. Would it be okay with you to come back to my headquarters with me? It's safe there and we can talk privately. Okay. Can you drive me back afterwards? Should not be a problem. How about you sit in my car? Okay. Bill, you don't have anything on you that could hurt me, do you? No. I'm just gonna check for our protection, okay? Okay. Sergeant Garrity, the contact officer, and Bill go to police headquarters. Meanwhile, the backup officer knocks on the door of Bill's house and talks to Bill's mother. She hands the officer an index card with key information about Bill's mental health issues. The police department's dispatch is notified that Sergeant Garrity and Bill are coming to the station. The police dispatch also calls the Psychiatric Screening Program 262 HELP, located at Bergen Regional Medical Center, to come to police headquarters and evaluate Bill. Fifteen minutes later, 262 HELP arrives at police headquarters to conduct Bill's evaluation. Hi, Sergeant Garrity. I'm Amy from 262 Help, a service of Care Plus New Jersey. I'm here to evaluate Bill. Hi, Amy. Bill's in our interview room. He's calmed down, but he's still a bit paranoid that he's being watched. Okay. I'll stay by your side as you're asking questions. Okay, great. Come on, let's go inside. Thank you. Hi, Bill. I'm Amy from Bergen County Psychiatric Emergency Screening Program. Sergeant Garrity was concerned about you and asked me to come speak with you today. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened? I'm not going to speak to you. You're one of them. Bill, just answer the lady's questions. 
Remember, we told you you're gonna have to answer just a few questions. I, I know that you're recording this whole conversation. I'm not going to talk to you. You're just after my knowledge. Everyone is. Well, Bill, I can tell you that we're not recording this conversation. And I'm really here because I'm concerned and I wanna make sure that you're okay. No, I'm not going to talk to you at all and just going to not share anything. Here, the 262 HELP screener's role is to conduct as much of the evaluation as possible, depending on how lucid and alert the individual is. In this situation, the screener attempts to engage Bill, but is unsuccessful. The screener excuses herself from the room to call Bill's mother for more information. Hello? Hi, is Nancy available? This is she. Hi Nancy, my name is Amy. I'm a certified mental health screener with 262 Health, Bergen County Psychiatric Emergency Screening Program. Hi Amy. I was advised your son's experiencing mental health crisis today and was asked to come out and evaluate him at police headquarters. Can you please tell me a little bit about what happened this morning? The screener will speak with the individual in crisis and others involved in the case. Using this information, the screener will determine the best course of action. Action steps can include referring the individual to resources or sending the individual in crisis to the designated screening center for further evaluation and treatment. In this case, the assessment calls for Bill to be transported to the designated screening center at Bergen Regional Medical Center's emergency room. Once at the hospital, Bill will be seen by a medical doctor to evaluate his physical condition. After he is medically cleared, he will be evaluated by a psychiatrist. Throughout the intervention, the focus is on the person in crisis, but it is important to remember the effects the crisis will have on family members and loved ones. There is support available from NAMI Bergen County, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. We hope you found this video to be helpful. The most important thing to remember is that help is available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year from 262 Help and the police.